With Simulate, we've always tried to make it really easy to build up your simulations and use the graphics in the simulation to truly analyze your system. With Simulate 2016, we've added a new feature, which is called the conditional Q colors or the Q color rules. And what this does is allow you to add certain conditions to your cues so when they're actually happening in the simulation, the cues will visibly change color. By default, you may notice that the cues just rise and fall based on their stock level and they stay a consistent color. But with this, you can now analyze the current contents of the cue as well as the average wait times and highlight them in different colors so you can analyze what's happening at important areas in your simulation. In this example, we're going to take a look at this cue here, the one in between activity two and activity three. As this is being fed from three different locations, we know that there's a lot of activity here, so we want to keep a close eye on what's happening with it. In order to apply the color rules, first you must select the queue, navigate to the graphics tab of the ribbon, and on the far left hand side you will see there's a display style for the queue. Currently this feature applies to the tank, block, and graph styles, but in this case we're just going to go with block. In this queue graphics dialog, you can do things like change the size of the queue, and in this case I've left it at 32 by 32 so it matches all of the other objects in the simulation. There's a new button here in Simulate 2016 for the color rules, so we'll go ahead and open those and show you how these rules are created. The first thing you'll see is the rule that you want to choose. It could be either the current contents of the queue, for example, if you're looking at a stock level and you don't want it to fall below a certain amount, or that you're looking out for bottlenecks and want to make sure the queue doesn't reach a certain threshold, or we can look at the average wait time of a queue, perhaps when you want to easily identify when work items are starting to build up, or when they're taking too long to process through the queue or the rest of the system. In this example, we're going to stick with looking at the current contents of this queue. The next thing you'll notice is that there's a default color. This is the color of the queue, presuming none of the conditions that you create have yet been met. In this case, let's go ahead and set that to green. On the right hand side of the dialog, there's a new button in order to create new rules. Let's go ahead and create two for this example. For each rule, you have a dropdown of the operator, whether that's less than, less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equals to, or simply equals to. You also have an input, which in the case of current contents is the number of items in the queue, or an average wait time is the time in minutes or hours or whatever your simulation is that you're looking at. And finally, you have the color for whenever that rule is met, then the queue will change to that selection. In this case, we're looking at if the queue is breaching a certain amount, so we'll choose greater than for both rules, and we'll choose some values here of 25 and 50. Now finally, we just want to make sure our colors match our rules, so we will choose yellow if our queue breaches a value of 25, and about uh, red if it reaches a value of 50. There is also a test value down here, so you can ensure that your rules are working correctly. Um, you can enter in values and ensure that the colors are matching up with what you have in your rules above. Each rule also does have a selector, should you want to select a specific rule and erase it from your simulation. So let's go ahead and click OK and apply this color rule to our queue. So you'll notice that the queue is green, that is the default color, and as soon as it breaches the value of 25, it begins to turn yellow, and finally, when it breaches 50, it turns red. So this will allow you, if you've got, for example, hundreds of cues in your simulation, to easily pick out the important ones at a glance just by referencing the color rules and what color the queue currently is during your run 